Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of March 21st through March 28th for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and every Monday. So welcome to you. And if for some reason a reading doesn't resonate, it's always somebody's reading. It's not always going to be everybody's. You can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading or even check a different part of your chart. And again, on Mondays, I post different styles of readings. So tarot is timeless anyway, but if you didn't, if you didn't see maybe the love reading or the pick a card reading, those are also always available during the month on Mondays. So um, thank you to everyone for the things that you do to support the channel from watching readings to liking videos and of course subscribing. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe and then you'll know when new readings or any announcements are made. So let's begin and get the guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? All right, so we'll begin with the tarot, and then we will use the angel answers here, too. All right, you have here the king of pentacles, the page of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the knight of cups, the ten of pentacles, the hermit, the page of cups, and the five of pentacles. Well, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, you have Virgo here. You have a lot of Earth in this, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and you do have Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Well, I definitely feel like you've got money coming in. Holy cats. You know, I mean, there's a lot of different cards we could pick up, but let's just acknowledge that these are all here, okay? You've definitely got money and in, in opportunities here. So certainly if you're struggling with money, you may even have somebody who comes in and helps you out. Um, either somebody who gives you a job or it could be somebody who leads you to a new job. But either way, if it's love for you too, because you do have two offers here, two cards that indicate love. The King of Pentacles is a very kind, loving, caring kind of energy, okay? It's, it's new growth all around you and any person who comes in in this energy, it's like they can't catch a struggle, okay? There may be somebody that you meet and if you've been on kind of a roller coaster ride in relationships, you meet this person and they seem unbelievable. You know, they're one, this is a wonderful kind of energy. Um, it's, it's also to somebody who's very charming and people really will listen to this person, whether it's you or it's somebody you're attracting. You know, it's not an arrogant or conceited kind of delivery. There's just something captivating about this person when they talk. And you may have somebody saying that to you. Um, there is a little bit of a proud energy in both the king and queen, though, where it's sort of like they'd rather die than be embarrassed. You know, so part of that is just to be aware of it. Um, if you have are attracting somebody new, especially, this is not somebody who likes those relationships where there's passive aggressive jabs. But who does like that, right? <laughs> and who likes even being around it? Have you ever been around a couple that's like the bicker sense? My God, it's awful. Um, it's like, how do I hurry up and get paged out of the room? Anyway, so you've got the page of pentacles. And again, you know, the page of pentacles has a, is an offer coming your way. It can be money or a commitment. Okay, so be prepared for that because there is an offer coming in. And the thing is, again, the pentacles are often very proud. You know, the way that this page holds up that pentacle and looks at that pentacle, it is somebody in terms of a relationship, they're going to feel very proud about being with you, Libra. Um, and just very captivated. There's something about this energy in the reading that's like this captivated, just like this gaze that I'm seeing. Um, now, for some of you, it, it, overall, for any of you, though, it really is an indication of long-term happiness. It's something that runs the distance. But what I like about the page is he's got a little bit more of a playful, energetic energy where the King is a little more perfectionistic, right? And he's humble, but he's kind of a perfectionist and a little bit hard on himself. Um, the page is definitely more fun, but he is sensible with money. So there's something about being kind of sensible. And I feel like for you, if, especially if you're scared of your finances, maybe taking a closer look will let you know they're not as bad as you thought or as dire as you might have thought. Now, the Six of Pentacles is also, again, 
we've got money and we've got balance here. But the thing is about the six is it can be somebody who brings in who has a little bit more to offer in terms of a job offer, of money, of guidance in some way. Um, sometimes though, it can be with strings attached. So be aware of that, especially if you get an offer, you know, something where they say, we've got this online training class or something like that. Make sure it's free before you go enrolling yourself. Okay. You don't want to get a bill later, but with this, so it's definitely about giving and receiving it's working together. If that's work for you too, I feel like if you're in sales, you may have an opportunity where you help somebody out and you get part of their commission because you covered something for them. And I do feel like they'll be good on that. If it's like you're you're saying that happens all the time and they don't pay me, I do feel like there's money coming forward. So I mentioned before, you have somebody who really covets you. They appreciate you. And the Knight of Cups is all about having you on their mind. You know, they think of you. You're in their mind, but in their heart too. And they're manifesting you. If you haven't met this person yet, this is somebody who is committed to love. They're, they are on the search for a relationship and a commitment, a long-term commitment. And so if this person hasn't entered your life yet, they will, they're on the way. But with this, um, you know, they've got a vision, they're a visualizer. They're somebody who, whether they realize they're doing it or not, they're using law of attraction energy to pull the relationship forward towards them. And um, this is not, you know, again, it's like that the act of resisting, they're not resisting anything as much as they're allowing, they're releasing all the resistance. And maybe that's you, but I feel like it's more their energy coming in with this commitment. There's definitely a, com a solid commitment here. So again, the Ten of Pentacles, you've got harmony for everyone. And it's the wealth card, you know, so there's money and it's appreciation too, though. This is a card of you know, one of the subtleties in the card is that they don't even notice the pentacles around them. So especially if you're saying, I've had a hard time with money, I'd like more money. It's all about appreciating the things that you already have and recognizing that and utilizing that energy to manifest more. I see somebody making a list of like places they've traveled to and making lists of things that they've already brought into their awareness. And that just brings more momentum and your ability to manifest more experiences because you get back into that feeling, that excited feeling. And I understand with the pandemic, it's created low vibrational stuff around us. And so we've gotten kind of off into the weeds. This too, though, can also be a card of coming from an unexpected place. So like I said, if you've had something in the past where you got very low expectations because the person hasn't been good on their word or hasn't been good with money. I do feel like you're getting money from something and it's wonderful. I mean, it brings in that feeling of freedom and ease when we have that. So the hermit shows up and the hermit tells you, you are on the right path. The hermit is your inner guru. It's your best teacher, your inner guide. And on the journey of the, the tarot on the, in the uh, major arcana, the soul is represented by the fool. And when the fool meets the hermit, the fool learns all about the value of spirituality. And so this is a card about going within and it's about detaching. So especially if you have a job that's really related to the internet, or maybe it's even just not answering emails at night temporarily, if you can do that, you know, kind of taking a break, turning off the electronics at night allowing yourself to get rid of all those frequencies around you so they're not buzzing and humming silently in the night, but yet you're still aware of them, especially if you haven't been sleeping well. I feel like they're telling you it's time to disconnect from some of this and just allow yourself to be more within the universe, nature, that greater part of you, that whole of you, that divine being. And so, you know, you don't see the hermit on a cell phone constantly, right? Wouldn't that be crazy if he had a, a phone, an iPhone under his robe ready to pull out because he can't handle being with himself? That would be really strange. So the page of cups comes in with an offer. Again, you've got this a couple of times, but the page definitely brings in fun. It can be a chance encounter, okay? So if you're focused on money, you may find all of a sudden there's somebody that looks good to you and, they, and you look good to them for sure. Um, but with the Page of Cups, it also can be the return of an X, okay? It's manifesting. Right now, you, you are already manifesting something. So if you're going, oh my God, what thought did I have? Cancel the thought. You know, it's uh, 
you're doing it. So it's the manifestation in the 3D world. But I do feel like it brings in fun, especially the money aspects. And I feel like I see somebody at a casino, and I'm not encouraging gambling, okay? I don't want somebody to become addicted to gambling, but I do see that. Um, and maybe it's something that's, you know, just kind of a fun outing, and it's not a problem for anybody. But I do see this, you know, again, there's something picking up here with money and what feels like luck. Now, the Five of Pentacles offers a change, and it can be moving away from something greater. So if there was even a job that shows up that brings you out of your community, that's possible here. Um, but it's telling you, too, you haven't lost everything. I feel like it's more about not so much moving away from things, because when we do that, we tend to bring that low vibration with us. But what are you walking toward, Libra? What are you? What is the vision of your life that you're walking toward? And so you've still got the most important people with you in that card. So it's definitely, I feel like, in connection to the other cards here, you're not coming up short. You're not coming up empty-handed by any means. Um, and, and maybe the Five of Pentacles, too, may be about helping somebody out with that Five and Six here, that you're the one in the red cloak and the Six where you're actually able to help somebody, too. That may be a part of this, especially if you find a lot of people around you and that Ten of Pentacles have been kind of blindsided and are needing some help. So let's see what else they have to say here. Fort Libra. All right, you've got here forgiveness. Well, you know, with this, it, it may be about just focusing on what you desire, you know, and that's part of the storyline here. There's not a lot of conflict here, though, I'll be honest. I mean, isn't that nice for and refreshing for a change? A <laughs> reading that isn't fraught with conflict. You've got abundance, and I would agree with the tarot. They're showing a very abundant future and not just with money, but I also do feel like with people around you, um, you've got here trust. So know that the universe is always co-creating with you, either deliberately or by default. And all your job is to be consistent because the universe is always consistent and is always trying to interact with you. Now they say a year from now, I haven't had this in a long time. When you get this, don't panic because sometimes people don't like the sound of it. They think it takes a long time if it says that. What they're really saying is things are already moving forward. And I feel like in a year from now, you'll look back and be in a completely different place in a wonderful area in terms of finance, freedom, and feeling fulfilled and uplifted. And I'm not saying money is everything, but I do feel like, again, there's this abundant energy and money is part of the story. They say don't stop because you're on the right path here, Libra, just like the hermit says. So I love you. Good things are coming for you. And I'll be back again soon.